The last time I did a frequency and amplitude modulation patch, I didn't actually show the setup. So this time I thought we would actually go through it together. So where should we start? Well, we'll start with the output VCA amplifier. As you can see there, this black wire is going to my amplifier. This red cable here is just the signal from the uh, modulated oscillator and all I'm using the amplifier is to set the gain manually. So that increases or decreases the level of my audio. Okay, now this um, cable here comes around to a multiple. And the purpose of the multiple here is so that we can split the signal in two send part to the audio and the yellow cable that you see coming out there that yellow cable coming out of my lower multiple is going into channel one of my oscilloscope okay now the audio coming into the multiple is coming from this oscillator here so we just have to go through this oscillator setup as you can see we're taking the sine wave at the bottom via that red cable and we have three options going into the frequency setting here first in the linear frequency we have a setting which is just a fixed control voltage which is coming from the bottom half of my signal processor down here and uh, the purpose of this control voltage which is being regulated by this level control here is just to get the phase adjusted correctly on the oscilloscope so I can get the two traces uh, to, to be stationary so I just want to exactly get the frequency match between the two it's approximately a 1 kilohertz on the high frequency and 100 hertz on the the low frequency and this is just used to match the phase so that after I've locked on to the lower frequency with the uh, trigger on the scope I'll be able to get the um, high frequency waveform to be stationary as I perform my frequency modulation to demonstrate it to you and now we are going to look at the two that are going into the exponential frequency control here one is going into the regulated input as you can see and that is the one that's coming from the lower frequency oscillator that's doing the frequency modulation but that's also going through a multiple as you can see here this ult upper multiple that has the blue cable and the two red ones the blue cable is the one carrying it to the second trace of my oscilloscope um, as you can see down here on the floor it's, going, it's just going through a, a phone connector and into the probe of the oscilloscope which is going into the second channel over here as you can see now for the two red cables going into the multiple one of course is coming from the oscillator itself the sine wave of the low frequency oscillator as you can see right there and the other red cable is the one that's going to modulate the other oscillator through this variable control here this variable control here is where we set the level of frequency modulation notice it's a variable control on a one volt per octave setting which will be allow, allow me to do a, a, a deeper level of modulation that would be possible if I had just simply use the linear frequency control so on the modulating oscillator I also have this orange cable here which goes to the upper half of my signal processor which is just allowing me to send a fixed control voltage right now it's not doing much once again that fixed control voltage is just to get the frequency right but the course frequency is being set here by this uh, 1 volt per octave brown cable which is going into my standards module which is allowing me to give a very accurate pre-controlled voltage that will force this oscillator to um, give around 100 hertz and I can make my fine level adjustment using this control here 
the uh, linear frequency control will allow me so that's basically just to establish the fixed oscillator forget the oscillator fixed on 100 hertz and the purpose of the linear frequency controls are just to, just to make minor very fine tune the phase adjustment on the on the oscilloscope trace so what you're hearing right now is the one kilohertz tone and um, as you can see uh, it's pretty stable there it, it's just sliding slightly with respect to the with respect to the other one and I don't have it locked I'm trying to take this and get my hand on the control now you see if I just turn it slightly it goes stationary there okay so we're going to begin our frequency modulation the purpose of course of using dual trace and having the trigger locked on the lower trace is so that when we start to do the, fre the frequency modulation it will have a stable signal to lock onto so that lower trace that you're seeing is, is like a hundred hertz tone whereas the upper trace is the kilohertz so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to increase the depth of my frequency modulation here from no modulation hear it? now as you notice that the higher frequency is on the positive half cycle of the lower a modulating tone and as I increase the depth of my modulation the lower frequency is actually in the trough or negative portion of the half cycle so that's a very high level of modulation there as you can see it's, it's really bunched on the positive half cycle and stretched on the negative half cycle now all I have to do now is use the fine tuning control to lock the phase so that the trace doesn't move. That should be possible to do because it's a very fine tuning control. See I'm slowing it down there right now. Ah there you go. So the phase is pretty much locked there now as you can see and it's really stretched there on the uh, negative half cycle and bunched on the positive half cycle and what you hear in the loudspeaker I'll turn it up a little bit for you to hear let me just lock the phase a little tighter there we go and turn up the volume and you can actually hear the lower tone as well as a buzzing or higher tone listen carefully Now listen now as I reduce the level of modulation. Isn't that interesting? Strange, isn't it? Weird, but that's how frequency modulation sounds as I increase the depth and percentage of the modulation once again now I can fine tune that phase and stop that from sliding relative to the other signal there we go alright well I'm going to do an amplitude modulation demonstration next and show you the patch okay only two changes to this setup are required to switch from the frequency modulation to the amplitude modulation and that is that I take the line out of the one volt per octave frequency input here and instead I put that line down here into the control input control input number one of the VCA voltage control amplifier and I can set my control level here this 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 setting now is going to give my percent of amplitude modulation because it's going to control the amount that that signal modulates the amplitude into the control input 
Okay, so that one shifting from the fre exponential frequency input of the oscillator to the control input of the VCA amplifier is what is, is all that is required that but also I have to take out the output of the oscillator and this time I have to place my yellow cable which was going into the multiple into the output of the VCA so that the modulated remember this yellow cable is going to the scope trace notice it right there there is the scope trace and um, so that now will trace the output after the the modulation and this black cable is going to my to my uh, loudspeakers my, my amplifier system so you can hear the audio okay so that's all it just those two little changes so that the scope trace moves to the output of the VCA and the control input of the VCA we want to now have a an automatic here we see we have the gain set to the midpoint well that's a necessity because of the we want to be able to go from zero to a hundred percent modulation so we've sort of cut the gain the, the level of the total signal down to half and as we modulate from this control which will adjust the level uh, sorry the percentage of modulation we will see over here that um, because we're doing amplitude modulation now we will see that this uh, level goes from um, well, we need to get it to focus there I'm not quite sure why it's not latching is that better now yeah that's better now okay so we've got the focus latching and uh, locked in and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn that control level so watch now as the amplitude modulation starts to work see as I increase the percentage of amplitude modulation notice that it's highest there on the part and where the negative half cycle of the modulating wave we're practically at a hundred percent there now aren't we now if we if we do over modulation look what happens if we do over modulation it drops to zero and part of the wave is lost see I've got a flat spot there now see that that's over modulated there the idea is that we don't want a flat spot I'm gonna get a hundred percent modulation there now where at the negative half cycle it drops to zero but only at that point when it's at the negative half cycle once again hear how it sounds in the loudspeaker okay that's it folks thanks for watching and uh, join us again at uh, this Stephen Mendes channel where we give you more insights into music and electronics.